What's up guys, how you doing today? In today's video, I'll be showing you guys exactly the hack that I just found out about not too long ago about how to stay in inventory all the time, even if you're out of inventory. guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon VS Seller Mentor. Thank you very much for joining my channel. If this is your first time, be sure to subscribe to my channel as I post daily videos about Amazon VA and other topics. And also, on Sundays, I do something a little bit just different. I post a little bit off of topic, either about some, you know, motivational quotes that I refer to every time I'm discouraged or other ways how to make money online. Um, last week was about how to create a YouTube channel from literally nothing and just using whatever, you know, there is around you. So guys, you know, once again, if this is your first time, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I also have a mentoring program. First link in the description is to that if you guys want to check that out. Um, aside from that, let's go ahead and kind of jump into exactly what I'm here to show you guys. So not too long ago, maybe like a couple months ago, I launched this product that was amazing, but it was devastated because what was happening is that I only I only ordered like 200 units, but the product was just selling a lot quicker than I expected, right? And I know for many of you beginners, this is the case also, right? You go into a product, you're scared, you don't know what to do, you order 100 units or 200 units, and all of a sudden, bam, 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 you know, you're getting hit with, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 units a day. This is not a bad thing, right? But the, the, the messed up thing about it, the, the, you know, the bad thing about it is that, once you have ranked your product and you run out of inventory, you start dropping in ranks because other sellers before you, you're not selling anymore. So your listing starts dropping and other sellers before you start coming up and climbing your place, you know, and new sellers or, you know, somebody comes new or whatever. And it takes some time. You know, we all know how frustrating it is to get, you know, products shipped from China all the way to the U.S. And, you know, U.S. warehouses take a few, you know, a couple of days to actually sort out your inventory, send it here, send it there. So it takes, you know, it may take a couple of weeks. So here's the thing. If you're a complete beginner, if you, this is your first product or second product or third product, and you are running out, you've got you're selling you know five to even fifteen units a day, and also you have already placed an order, and we're talking about you know week times, you know maybe even less than that, and your product is actually going to be arriving here pretty soon. What do you do is actually this: you go and you actually create a listing under your product. Okay, so here's the thing. Hear me out here. So let's go ahead and go on Amazon, pretend like we are the seller for a specific product, right? So here's what we're going to do. Very simple, very easy. It does not take much. So let's say grill gloves. I always use that, you know, that um, that actual um, example, right? So let me move actually my face to the side a little bit. So let's say this came up right and then let's say we are the sellers of this product right here let's say that we only have 50 units left we sell 10 a day but our product is not going to get to amazon until one week and it's going to take probably two three days until you know we have any you know anything even available for sale so we have about a three to five day period where we're not going to have inventory and we don't want to drop in ranking you saw how this was the third one and, you know, once they they stop selling, everybody else that's below them that's selling is going to go back up to where they were, right? So what do you do? So let's say here's, you know, we're the actual sellers of this product, right? We're going to pretend like we are. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and snatch the actual ASIN, and then we're going to go back to here and actually put in the ASIN and pretend like we are the actual sellers of this product. So once you actually search for the ASIN, the actual listing is going to pop up, right? So what's going to happen is we're going to actually pretend like we are you know the seller but we're actually like hijacking our own listing so that's what you're doing you're hijacking your own listing pretty much right you hijack your own listing and then you just go here and then you put in the price whatever price you want it to be you select condition always new right and then you put in let's say quantity 10 or whatever and then bam you just go for it right and now automatically amazon is gonna you know suggest to you that you become fba but you don't want to become fba you're just going to become fbm fulfillment by merchant so once you have actually, you know, uh, created access to your actual product, actually, you know, actually uh, created, you became another seller under your own product, that way you have some available, right? Now, the problem is you're not going to become prime. So that might be somewhat of a turnoff to some customers. So you are going to, you know, um, see a decrease in sales, but decrease, I'll take decrease in sales, then no sales. You know what I mean? Then what do you do? is you every time you get an order every time somebody clicks on your listing creates an order you're actually going to go and drop ship somebody else's listing somebody else's product so you find 
you know, a competitor that has a very similar product to yours. You go and buy that product and you actually send it to your customer. So you're drop shipping somebody else. So you're hijacking your product, your listing, and then you're drop shipping your competitor's listing to fulfill your orders. I know, crazy, mind blowing. I don't know how I learned it. I don't know how I came up with it. It wasn't something that I actually learned from a YouTube video or a course or anything like that. It was something I absolutely came up with it myself. I'm pretty sure there's at least a few other people that know about this out there. I have not talked about this to anybody except the um, the actual you know live video that I did earlier. So maybe like another 50 people that have seen or heard about this. Um, I don't know if even any of them are sellers or not, but I go live every day 10 p.m. I mean 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on live. I mean on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So be sure you guys check me out there. But anyways, you know this is very new. This is very simple. It's, I know it's some, it may be somewhat complicated, but if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Also, if any of you guys have tried this before and had any problems or had just tried it at all, you know, drop your uh, name in the comments below and say, I've tried it and I've tried it and I've had these problems. Now, two out of like 50 orders that I fulfilled, um, I had complaints. One of them, I gave them like a $3 discount. They were okay. The other one just kind of said, hey, what's going on? Why is the package different? Because you are not going to be sending your own package. You're going to be sending a different company's package. And you're going to be like, that's not what I ordered, but the product looks the same. So what's going on? And I was just like, well, we're just trying to rebrand our product. We're trying to different packaging, blah, blah, blah. You know, I kind of made it sound like, you know, it's like we know what's going on, you know. And um, and then also another thing is you will say, well, what if I'm getting five, ten sales a day and I'm giving my sales to this competitor? They're going to beat me. Well, what I did was I found three different products, okay, three different products that were similar to mine and I would literally order like every two units from one seller that way I'm not giving just one seller a whole lot of sales so they can you know climb up and beat me you know what I mean and always go to like the bottom of the page or even second page because there will be all those sellers that are trying to like make it up there and then they'll have their price a lot cheaper than really your price and my second product that I did this for I actually was making a profit believe it or not the first product I was losing like 50 60 cents but the other one, the second one, I was making like two, three dollars a pop because they were buying my product for like 19 bucks and I was buying it from the other guy for like, I don't know, maybe 12, 13 dollars and then fulfillment fees and things like that. But I was making about a dollar or two or I think three dollars closely. But it's awesome. You can literally never run out of inventory. You just need to make sure somebody's listing looks like yours. And don't worry about the, you know, don't worry about the packaging. It is what it is. You can risk, you know, take the risk of maybe bad reviews or whatever, but I did not have it. I did twice. I did it twice. I fulfilled over 50 products or 50 orders. So once again, just to recap, you're going to hijack your own listing. Every time you get a ship or an order, you're going to go on and, and actually drop ship your competitor's listing and have it directly shipped to your customer, okay? So you are driving some traffic to your, to your, um, to your actual competitor, but they don't know what the hell is going on. They just see this person ordering like, two units a day what the hell's going on but once again this is for somebody that's completely beginner somebody that's already got an order coming in and you're selling you know five to fifteen units a day and then you know we've got a few days now you may be losing money but it just kind of depends like okay well do i take a dollar loss per product that i fulfill and just suck it up and and suck it up for a week or so and maybe lose like 50 bucks or do i not do anything about it and have my bsr just drop drastically and have to pay that money back into giveaways into ppc so i can climb back up you know when i got my products right away i did a little bit more ppc i did some giveaways got a few more reviews you know shot back up and i was doing just great so guys once again here bashar get to amazon to be a seller and mentor if you have any questions drop them in the comments below if this is something you've done before you already know about let me know also if you had any problems or you had any progress let me know what do you think about it let me know what experience you had with this concept if you're gonna go and try it also, come back to this video and let me know how it went for you. Um, also, the first link in the description is going to be to my mentoring program if you guys want to join that. I did um, a separate thing for my course for 40 bucks a month. I mentor you, become my student, you know, analyze your products and answer your questions. Just pretty much help you out, guide you through the entire process, make sure that you are, you know, being taken care of. I'll give you my cell phone number. You can call me, text me anytime. Aside from that, guys, best shark to your Amazon BSL mentor. Thank you much for being here, being an awesome audience. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.